Hi guys, the purpose of this video is to just kind of walk you through our class in Blackboard and show you some of the navigation, um, where to find things, what the structure of the class will look like, and um, I think just address the overall layout of the course. If you have questions after you watch this video, please don't hesitate to email me at Osborne. that's my first initial and my last name, at mitchellcc.edu. Okay, so right now, when you first log into the class, assuming that this is still week one, you will be automatically taken to the announcements page. Um, I will probably keep this page up for the first couple of days, maybe day one and two. Um, but once we get to Wednesday, I will highlight a different page just because sometimes I like to highlight very relevant pages where assignments are due um, and you need to go ahead and work on them or else you're going to miss them. Right now though, here is the announcements page. This is where I will post any announcement. Now, announcements are supposed to also be sent to your email, however, I was having issues with that over the summer. Um, so if you find that you are you don't feel like you're getting, and I don't post announcements every week, I don't post every day, I just post announcements when it's relevant when I have something that I need to tell the whole class all at once. Um, so if you never get an announcement, if you don't see this getting started with English 111 announcement in your emails, um, you might not be getting the emailed announcements. Um, if that's the case, please let me know. I don't know how to fix that, but I will find out. So if this issue has not resolved itself, then we can try to fix it. Um, look in the announcement section for anything relevant. So I will only make an announcement if there is something you need to know. And if you need to know it, then you need to know it. So just kind of check here frequently, maybe once a week, look and see if there's any new announcements. Um, all of the most recent announcements will show up here and you'll see there will be a picture of me next to the title of the announcement. And if you click on it, it will take you to the full content and you can kind of just scroll down. Uh, you can certainly reply, I think, to, I'm pretty sure you can, um, you can reply to an announcement if you have a question or a comment about it. Um, I don't think students do that very frequently, um, but you can. Of course, I think maybe what would be better is if you have an individual question that you reply, you send me an email because um, anyone can see whatever will be posted in the announcements. The next page in our course is the Syllabus Schedule and Getting Started page. This you will always be able to see um, and it's going to have really all the resources that you need for the class. So it's going to have the course syllabus as a file here if you want to watch it. Um, below this I am working on creating a syllabus overview video so if you prefer to um, watch a video instead of reading the syllabus, you could do that. When you're done doing either of those options, you can acknowledge that you've reviewed the syllabus. You can print and download, uh, download and print the course schedule here. This is going to um, download as a file. And then you can work through the introduction module. This module is the same for, I think, all of your online classes with the exception of this Meet Your Instructor short video and the student learning outcomes because those are both unique to the course that you're in. Um, but there are other things here that you will have access to everywhere. Once you've kind of worked through everything here, um, you can get go in and do the mandatory in course enrollment activity or you can just do that as the very first thing that you do and then go and read the syllabus and, and everything like that. Um, so the mandatory course enrollment activity is, is really the most important thing for getting started. It's not due until Wednesday, August 28th, but I think you need to do it by Tuesday, August 20th. And the reason I say that is because you have an assignment due on Wednesday, August 21st. You will not be able to see that assignment until you have completed the enrollment activity. This activity verifies 100% that you want to be enrolled in this course. If you don't complete this enrollment activity, even if you've looked at the syllabus, you've done the syllabus acknowledgement, you've downloaded the textbook, 
Even if you've done all that, if you don't complete the mandatory course enrollment activity, then you will be reported as a no-show for this class and removed from the course, and you will not, I have been told this from so many sources, nobody is going to put you back in this class. So um, that that is, I think, just really important. Just do this on Monday, the, the 19th. Um, and if you're watching this video and it's past Monday the 19th, then pause it and go do the mandatory course enrollment activity right now. Um, what it is, is a discussion board. So you will click mandatory course enrollment activity and then you will click on introduction and course goals and then you can just reply to distance learnings post, introduce yourself to the class, say hi I'm so and so, I'm studying or whatever. Um, and then distance learning is asking that you post three things you hope to learn from this course. Great, do that. Don't spend too much time on this. This is something that's mandatory. We all have to do it for online and hybrid courses. Um, so I'm, I'm really just giving you a com completion assessment here and that this verifies your enrollment. I don't, I don't really care what you say right here. Um, okay, so going back to our main page. Again, we have the announcements page, we have the course syllabus and schedule, the mandatory course enrollment activity. You can also find one of our two course textbooks here. Um, the reason is this is a PDF. You can get it for free. It's the main book that I'll have you read a whole bunch of chapters out of. Um, we also have the little seagull, but you have to buy that one, so I can't give it to you here. Now, once you've completed the mandatory course enrollment activity, you will then get access to all of the weekly content, which is the course materials, the assignments, um, everything that I want you to do throughout the course. And it's going to look the same every week. So first you will see the module. The module will have a short description of kind of what I want you to do this week. And then over here you'll have the chapters that I want you to walk through. You will always or almost always have a lecture and you will always have an FYI section. The lecture is a short video. Sometimes you'll have a couple of these. Um, it just kind of depends on how much content we need to cover in that week. Um, you can watch the video right here in your browser window. Just click the play and the video will play. All of these lecture videos are me giving you content. It's the same content that I would give you in um, a class face-to-face. -face. If you need subtitles, then what you have to do is begin to play the video. Um, and then, I'm going to pause that for a second, uh, down here in the bottom right hand corner of the video screen you can click on YouTube and then it will take you, pausing that again, it will take you to YouTube where you can access the captions um, and subtitles for the video. So if you do need to have access to that, that's the way in which you would find that, um, but it will take you, that's one thing you can't watch in Blackboard. Blackboard does not automatically bring up those captions. So if that applies to anyone, I just wanted to let you know about that. All right, the FYI section is resources, but these are these are you absolutely need to do them. Got to read through, look at this content. So if you are looking for assignment sheets for upcoming essays or um, kind of bigger assignments that are due, usually these would be the ones due on Sunday, then you can find the assignment sheets always, always in the FYI section. If you forget this, you need to email me, that's fine. Um, most of the time the assignments will be a link to the content, so here I will link you to Google Drive. If that does not work for you, if you are using a program to digest the content that isn't meshing well with Google Drive, please let me know. I can download the file and email it to you. Alternatively, you can download the file by going to File, Download, and pick the format that's going to work best for you. Um, but if that, again, is not copacetic to what you're looking at, then um, send me an email and I will get that content to you in a way that you can you can view it and digest it. Um, 
The other thing that I will post always is what I want you to read that week. There might be one or two weeks where I don't have assigned reading, but I usually do. Um, and the reading will help you understand the course objectives for the week and also complete whatever Wednesday or Sunday activity that you have to do. And this is, um, this is what the module will look like if you want to get back into week one or if you want to go back to the main page, you can use this navigation panel up here. Um, I'm going to go back to week one and show you the rest of what to expect and what to see. Sometimes I'll have a weekly description above the module, but not usually. Work through the chapters in the module and make sure you're always scrolling. Scroll, scroll, scroll. I know y'all know how to scroll. Um, so this week, for example, is a discussion board, and I think that that is the only thing that you have to do this week. This is not the same thing as the mandatory course enrollment activity, by the way. So you will complete the discussion board by, and I'll give you the due date here, um, it's the assignments are essentially what I'm saying is the assignments are always going to be below the module. This is information and then when you scroll down is where you complete assignments and earn points. But you don't earn any points, I probably shouldn't say this, but you don't earn any points for working through this content in the module. You earn points by completing your um, assignments below the module. And then I've put the unit one SLOs down here at the bottom because they're kind of clunky and get in the way so I pushed them. Um, all right, I think that that's going to be the structure for every single week. Sometimes there will be more than one activity. So again, scroll, 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 make sure that you're scrolling all the way down. Um, and so you'll see all the activities just kind of one and then another one. I think there is only one week where there will be three activities for you to do. Most of the time it's going to be a Wednesday activity and a, a Sunday assignment um, and they'll vary. The Wednesday activities will be very short. They'll be really quick things that you can do extremely fast um, and then the, the Sunday assignments are going to be bigger things that I want you to spend more time working on and thinking about um, and will all either or will require you to work through all of the content in the week one module or whatever week that you're in. Currently, I have the week one module available, but as I um, keep uploading content, then the week two modules will um, be visible in week three and four and etc. I I will open up the weekly modules as I create the content and get all of that stuff uploaded into Blackboard. Um, but they will not all be visible at the same time, which means, you know, you wouldn't be able to complete all of the coursework in this class in two weeks or anything like that. Um, I am a notorious procrastinator, so usually weekly content will be posted on Sunday night uh, for the following week, so sometimes Monday morning very early. If you have questions about how the course is laid out, please let me know. Um, I am in the process of coming up with some extra credit activities, which then will be housed. There will, there will just be another um, navigation toolbar item, I guess, if you want to call it that. It will say very clearly extra credit. So just kind of pay attention to this left-hand navigation panel um, because that's where you're going to be able to kind of move throughout the course. If you are familiar with Moodle, where everything was just listed right on that one page, this is going to be a little bit of a change for you, but if you have questions, if you need help finding something, please let me know. I think that after one or two weeks you'll get the hang of it. I will keep the same format for every week so that there's no um, kind of curveballs or, or anything like that. Alright, again, if you have a question, send me an email, and I hope you guys are really um, kind of getting started in the course and having a great week.